It is TJ back again with Gold Label Sports. Just wanted to welcome you guys to today's video. And today's video is gonna be on, honestly guys, the, the sports card market, Pokemon market are booming. Um, and I basically am want to go over, you know, what you guys gotta kinda do to prepare. Um, in my prediction, um, guys, the summertime is gonna be just like last year. Um, huge cards are gonna be going up in value again. Lots of buying, lots of selling, lots of flipping, lots of opportunities to make money buying and selling sports and Pokemon cards. And also there's going to be deals on deals um, to get your hands on some of the best cards out there at great prices. Um, I have also, I've been doing that right now to be honest with you. I just picked up um, a bunch of Charizards from 2002, 1999 base set, base set two, um, the Legendary Collection, I got the Rev Reverse Foil from Evolutions. Um, just came in, the, all this stuff just came in the mail today and I got more coming. Um, I have a Charizard Prism from Bondi coming in as well next week. Blastoise I got, um, I got LeBron James 2003 to 2005 um, rookie card, second year, third year. Um, got a bunch of MJs on sale. Um, another thing, MJ's and LeBron's, another thing, they're going to be going up in the summertime too. Space Jam is coming out in the summertime. Um, all LeBron's cards are gonna fly up, just like when Michael Jordan's Last Dance um, came out last summer. Um, that documentary is also on Netflix and more and more people are watching it, more and more people are buying his cards again. Another big boom. And I'm just letting you guys know, if you guys missed out last year, this is your time um, to get your hands on some of these cards. Whether you're a Pokemon collector or sports card collector, there's money to be made. There is the ability to do it the right way, to hold these cards for a longer period of time, getting them now when they're pretty, pretty cheap. Um, a lot of these cards range from 75 to $100, PSA 9, Michael Jordan and um, LeBron James. Pokemon cards are a little bit higher, um, but they are absolutely worth it for the long term. A lot of these cards, um, Believe it or not, Pokemon actually holds more value um, than a sports card, to be honest. And that's across the board because they're so hard to get in certain grades and they're so hard to get um, graded, period. The populations are so low and people are now realizing that and it's creating more and more demand at these certain, um, at these certain populations, at these certain grades, which is making the price rise in value day in and day out. Market value, market value um, in a sense has gone up drastically for Pokemon cards and sports cards, all right? And believe it or not, it's actually in a low period. So that's a good thing for me and you as a small and medium sized collector. Um, we're able to see these trends, read these market graphs, understand the analysis, um, especially when you're doing your research daily. Um, I spend about three, four hours a day researching uh, when I do have the time to. Um, and I'm also, you know, like I said, preparing four to six months in advance. What cards are gonna be hot? What are gonna be not? Um, I just released a full report. Um, just released a full report on my picks from March to April, the end of April. And man, I'm telling you, Marvel 2 going up like crazy. My Pokemon picks, my sports card picks, cards that I'm locking in on and focusing in on, um, they're going up in value every single day. And you know, I have uh, also on there, you know, my personal predictions on the trend of the market um, and how that's going to go. And uh, you know, prices, grades, numbers, everything. Um, if you guys do want that report, um, you guys can hit me in the uh, comments below, and I will absolutely reach out to you and shoot that off. Um, it's only going to be free for a limited time, and then it's going to be you know anywhere from you know just 20 bucks. Um, I'm doing a trial run right now, seeing how many people are interested, and I got a few people that are signing up and uh, also gonna be signing up with me doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is really exciting. Um, I've built um, you know, my, my little side hustle now with sports cards um, you know, to about $1,000 a week consistently over the last six, uh, five to six weeks. And um, it's growing and growing based on um, you know, the cards that I'm getting, the research that I'm doing, the cards that I'm uh, you know, investing in. 
and um, you know, putting all my, not putting all my investments in one baskets. A lot of people are struggling because they're just putting their investment into sports cards and they're not reaching out into Pokemon, Marvel cards. Digimon is also getting popular again too. And um, I mean, personally, not gonna get, get Digimon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that. Um, I'm just sticking with Marvel, um, sports cards, and Pokemon cards. And those are working out for me. Um, my estimated earning value um, absolutely coming up on my on my current collection over the next six months. Um, I'm probably in the plus thirty thousand range, plus fifty thousand range. Um, probably by the, the by the summer of next year, if I would stop right now and sell everything by next year. Um, so. Man, I hope the market stays that way. I hope it's gonna be like this for the long term. Um, right now, like I said, I am uh, preparing for this summer surge. I definitely feel like the summertime, again, sports cars are going to be absolutely jumping. Um, and it's gonna be a buyer's market, not a seller's market. And I think it's going to be you know, going up and we're not gonna be seeing you know, a bear trap right here where everyone's selling. It's gonna go you know, like this, up, 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 and keep going up on certain cards and certain sets. So basically, you know, what I'm saying is, do not wait until it's too late. Um, I've said this before in other videos, I wish I would've kept a lot of my cards that I had last summer, but unfortunately life got in the way, had to sell some off, um, and you know, I'm not making those same mistakes this time. So I'm here trying to help you guys out. If you guys have any questions, always, always, always available for you guys in my Instagram, um, in the comments, whatever you guys need. Um, and if you guys are interested in any one-on-one -on -one coaching, message me on Instagram, um, if you guys want the full report, you know, month by month, I'm gonna be start dropping them. Um, you guys can message me as well and I'll shoot it off to you. And um, you know, this is TJ with Gold Liberty Sports Guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Just a shorter one, but just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of the big surge that is coming. Prepare, do not wait. Um, and uh, you know, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. <gasps>